that is frost. And we're well into May. There you are, I've had a bit of a tidy up on that side now, but it's that area now, you can see where you, there's a hump in that ground. We gotta get that out. Not much to report on today, but we have made steady progress, um, leveling off this area. We've got a little bit more to do tomorrow. So, have a look from the side. Shaping up. It's me, it's Johnny Boy. I've got it at last. The new ITS catalog with over 29,000 products, 220 added pages. If you order by 7 p.m., you can get your next day delivery to site or to home. And don't forget, if you put the Johnny Boy promo code, Johnny Truck, you can get your free remote control truck. Well, there you are, we've got that finally cut now today got the curve all cut in and we've got the overlay on this side plus we've done the two uh, inspection trays so we've got three cuts to do tomorrow on there and uh, then we'll leave the overlay over the weekend so that we can just cut that round when it goes off that's just the best thing to do but one thing we did do we found we found this pipe, so we'd have to change the colour on that or repair it. But there you go, all the paving is done. There was a cut around here. Did we get that one in? There we are. Yeah, where the brush is, we got that one in. So all the cuts are all done. We're getting there. There you are, um, out and about. Uh, first job I had to price for a long time. I did take my mask, and I haven't, I haven't priced a job for a, for a while because. Um, because we were just fully booked and uh, not everybody is prepared to wait. But just went and gone and see a couple now, nice people, and uh, but they've had their patio laid four years ago and it was laid by the builder. And I'm not having to go at builders, but in this case, um, the patio's failed. It's been all spot laid and there's not even a sub base. It's just a bit of stone dust. So I don't even know what's all the way underneath. It's a rainbow slab. So th those rainbow sandstone have... Uh, a high porosity value, so uh, and it's around a pool, and no grouting, just a dry joint they've laid. Um, so they were old school, whoever laid that. So we got to give them a pr price for lift and relay around the pool, and then coming back up to the ice. But they have another area which drops off from the pool. There's a decking system there now, which is massively compromised. It's not even safe at all. Um, uh, I just it needs to be uh, fenced off now because they could you, you could get killed literally going in there's about six or seven no seven eight foot drop and um it's just rotten completely so they want a new area there do we go for composite do we go for wood do we go for that metal frame system where you can drop the porcelain in um I don't know but it's got great uh great possibilities I suppose but I just wanted to update you what I was doing we just had a quick look at the, the YouTube channel and look at, looked at the comments. There's a comment there from Wayne about the, um, I think it's about the downpipes. I haven't got my glasses at the moment and how I got around that. Um, look, I'll do a video uh, on the downpipes and, and cutting it. Um, and Wayne, if you want to drop me an, an email, uh, just drop it at info at uh, greentoplandscapes.co.uk or you can give me a ring on 07795 595 994. Whoever, whoever uses the number, don't abuse it. Just be pleasant. This plant here is the Thelictrum. Yeah, Thelictrum. And this is from Proctor's Nursery. And uh, absolutely beautiful. And the flowers are on their way. There you are. So when uh, two YouTubers come together. Not the press. Apparently, Justin don't normally do this, but he's come over to help me, which is very decent of him. John, is it high here in, in altitude, or do you, am I just out of breath? Or do you come <laughs> I, I'm out of breath as well. There you are. There he goes, look. On the shovel. I got a brick layer on the shovel. What? Hey? I can't shovel. 
<laughs> Come on, just fair play over your bud, just here on the end there. Yeah, we'll work like this for 35 years, John. 35 I'll have, years? I'll have to have a week and a half off now from tomorrow. How old were you 35 years ago? I was. Tell the truth now, mind. 35 years ago. You were 30? No. <laughs> I would have been about uh, in my 20, early 20s. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, When's your birthday? Well, look at that. Look at that. Look at this, John. That's how much I've worked the wheelbarrow up, mate. No. That's how many miles I've done on that. Oh. We're out of breath, aren't we? Yeah. And we are social distancing, we are. Oh. Um, we were just talking about uh, some of the people that are on YouTube and uh, you mentioned uh, John Ward. Yeah. From Birmingham. John Ward. Yeah. He's a, he's a stalwart. He's brilliant, yeah. isn't he? He's yeah. absolutely brilliant guy. Very positive. Yeah. And do you find that's out you when you get that good positive feedback? Yeah. I mean, it's important, isn't it? Because, um, you know, you're trying to do a good job. You're trying to portray who you are and trying to do a good job for your client. And it's something like John. So if you're watching, John, thank you very much. You're always positive, always willing to help, always willing to, we're out of breath, John, aren't we? Always willing to, uh, um, you know, participate. Give his good yeah. advice and share his good yeah. advice, which yeah. is what we're trying to do is share our knowledge and our advice. And John's a big part of that. So but thank you very yeah, much, John. Yeah, yeah, massive thanks to John for that. Like, you know, look at this going great. Just, your name came up, John, because we were just having a little chat between us. Um, and we were speaking about the, the people that comment on YouTube. And uh, you came up as uh, one of the decent ones that's on there with many others on there as well, mm. John, isn't it? Yeah, and, and without a doubt, what John does is that if he felt that there was something we could learn from and we could change because he's seen something we're doing, he would say it in a nice way, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah. Do you know, for all you out there, mm. that when you're saying horrible, nasty things, you know, crack on just keep going because eventually people see you for what you are really isn't it crack on with it yeah keep going <laughs> Well, it's, I've been so lucky this last uh, week or so. There's only been rain in the um, in the evening, but it's raining now. We've got some concreting to do, and this is what slows you up. Before we get in the van, I just want to show you this little little sample pad I've done. This was done with uh, a lean mix or a screed. Sorry, what am I saying? This is a screed. I've laid it on another slab, so I've cut some units up. I'm going to grave it, and we're going to see if this gets any discolor discoloration with the grout. Um, so we're nearly good to go. New tool. Looks a bit rude. <laughs> well, good morning. I uh, I keep you updated on, on everything. And uh, unfortunately, um, Eloy hasn't turned up. And uh, we had uh, not a disagreement, but um, the conflict of interest in, in a couple of things and he hasn't turned up this week. And as a result, <laughs> I've had to shift uh, a fair amount, but I did it. I did it by myself, it was no problem at all. But I got Dan from Birmingham coming down today to help me. Well, <coughs> Dan's just arrived. Um, he's met me at McDonald's and it's like, and he's just seen my new contraption and he thinks that we're going on a date. <laughs> Go on, now, you're lying. Go now, I'm lying. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Dan from Woods Home and Garden Solutions. We're going right. again? Yeah, we're going again. What are we going again for, John? Because we're doing the clips. Can we not just make it in one full... No, it's like an Hitchcock movie. We're making it sort of interesting with small clips. Go on, you've done that. I'm well, working with you today, and it's going to be a bloody pain in the arse. Yeah. Go again. Go again. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I'm going back to Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> what happened what? yesterday, quickly? What happened? I had to give my bloody labourer a spanking. Did you? Did I he did. enjoy it? He didn't. Was he naughty? He was a twat. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have said it. Right, just a quick video now. I'm with uh, Dan from... Woodtime and Garden Solutions Limited. In where? In Housel. Yeah, and you've got a fantastic van, haven't you? I have. 
and you need to you need to fill it with some tools so what we want to know is this is a challenge to ITS to Richie and Ben up at ITS what can he put in his van let us know what you think what's the first tools as a landscaper contractor he does decking he does maintenance he does planting he does building he does landscaping come on guys what does he need in his van Well, this is the first bit of concrete going in, but we're pu pulling the steel up into the concrete. Um, could have pushed it from the top down. But it's just the fact that it was on the floor in the first place. It doesn't matter. We're getting some concrete around the steel. It's so important. Yep. I'm on my knees at the moment because I just, I couldn't bend over. My back's killing me. Um, Dan, I've got Dan from uh, Birmingham with, with Garden Service, Home Garden Service with us. Dan, just show our viewers where we've had to bring everything down. And if you look down there, we've had probably in the region of over 40 tonne coming down there, like, you know, so um, there you go. But you can see, <laughs> some people may say this is a bit excessive, but this is for our picture frame. Um, come down here, down, have a look there. Just walk down here. We have got a bit of mud here. Unfortunately, this is what's happened today. Um, it's just caught us out this last minute. Uh, got the concrete going down here. Down to this point. From here onwards, we've got all steel. Uh, it's, we're actually on rock there, okay? We're on the natural stone there, over on that side. So we've got the, we've got steel all the way around here. Okay, this is for the picture frame. And the reason I put the steel in is because this is made up ground and the steel will, will help to ensure that it stays in place. But you can see where we've gone all the way around to that side. So hopefully tomorrow, if we have a dry day, hopefully we can get it done. That caught us out, but that's what happens. And, uh, Say la If you look, nice, isn't it? 